Have you ever felt the weight of a stereotype before? The unwanted expectations and assumptions that are based off a glance or a few conversations. You could have known these people all your life and the expectations and assumptions will still be there. These could be from your closest friends, your family members. It could be from anybody, a random stranger. Right now, you're probably judging this TED Talk, seeing if it is worthy enough for you to listen to. From the first few, or few lines I'm speaking, you're making your assumptions. Assumptions like, I practice this a lot, or I put a lot of effort into it. Off those assumptions, you are making your expectations that this talk will be interesting, uninteresting, boring. All humans categorize and judge. It's part of our nature. We judge other human beings. We categorize everybody. We judge the quality. I can judge that TV. Nice TV. We use the context and clues around us to figure out how we categorize things. Am I going too fast? Too slow? Is that TV shiny? And off those context and clues, which we subconsciously or consciously realize we use them, the assumptions are made. The assumptions that the TV is new, that I practiced a lot. But where stereotyping and assumptions comes together is when you assume wrong. When you assume wrong about a person or a thing. I'll give you an example because that's a lot to wrap your head around. You're on vacation. You're going to the state of Montana. And you and your friends decide to explore a mine. Now, you talk to the locals, and they say the mine is fine. You look at the first couple of signs. They say, you can go. Not unstable. So you guys decide to go and ignore the rest of the signs, because they can't be any different, right? So you guys go down in the mine and explore it. But it becomes unstable, collapses on you, and you die. Now, if you haven't guessed by now, this is a metaphor for assuming. Now, assuming isn't necessarily always a mind falling on you. It's just when you assume wrong, it does. If you had assumed right and the mind was stable, then you would be fine, and you would be alive ha and happy. But people change, so they will. If you had kept looking at those signs, you would have seen that they said things like, beware, unstable, or no tourists are allowed. But you ignored them. Now translating this into real life, there's assumptions made about everybody. I still have minor ones made about me from people I've known all my life. Like, I still love milk, or I still hate it. Or I hate the taste of avocado, which I do. It's just that I get upset when you assume major details about me that I am still the same person I was last year because everything I've been through hasn't changed me. So I've got a story for you. So, a few weeks ago, it might have been a month by now, we were doing a school project. And we were supposed to be following these directions about, and basically naming what we were good at or thought we were good at. And so this one kid, I don't like to expose anybody, so we'll call them 
congratulate someone in the crowd. You can guys can come up with the name. Williamson. Okay. So Williamson, we'll call him Will. He's been listing off what we're good at or what we're most known for. And so last year, I was known for dogs. Having them, loving them, you know, the whole thing. But this year, I've really been trying to move away from that because if I don't change, how will I ever have an impact on the world? And it just, I guess it just hurt me a lot that someone still thinks of me in the same way, that all I could be known for, or all I am, is dogs. You know, it hurts a bit. But this is getting a tad too personal here. So let's move to the root of the problem, the assuming. Or, yep. Now, I would not like to blame this on any specific person or group of people. This is just how society has developed over all its years. I mean, as children, we are told not to judge or stereotype, but I realized, probably like sixth, seventh grade, that if you don't judge or stereotype, well not stereotype, but if you don't judge, you will be boring. You will have no personality because without your opinions, you are nobody. And I guess it's just funny that if you are judged, if you judge, you will be judged. And if you don't judge, you will also be judged. It's an unending cycle of judgment. And with these judgment come expectations. Expectations that if you are aware of your surroundings, you feel. Like a tiny invisible box that kind of feels like you're trapped. And these expectations, they hold you for the rest of your life. OK, I'll give you an example. Class clown. We all have one in our class, do we not? Does the class clown always want to be funny? Or does the person who always tells these wild stories want to tell these wild stories? I don't know. I'm not the person. Maybe they do. But people change, so they will. But this, the expectations and stereotypes will stay with them. Now, from all of this, society seems quite unfixable, doesn't it? In fact, I think it's getting worse. So, the media, or social media to be exact, we hear all these crazy stuff because people are telling the truth. They are being completely truthful because they will never see these people in life, in real life. So why would they not be truthful? This causes insecurities in others because you cannot be fully truthful because then the world would just almost collapse. Because all your best friends, your friends, your mothers, your fathers, everyone would just destroy you, basically. And as a new cycle comes, as a new generation fills up the spots that were once held by older generations, our generation, Gen Z or Gen Alpha, um, a change will come. Now, I'm not sure if this change will be small, large, but this change will affect everybody in one way or another. And what I want to do when that change comes, one thing that I want everybody to do is to not assume. Now, this might seem impossible since we assume everything. We've even, we've even been taught to assume. I assume that that camera is videoing me. 
I assume that the house won't collapse on me. We assume everything. What I want here today is not fix this problem, but tell you about this problem. Because my job is to inform you. And when that change happens, maybe you guys might change stereotyping or assuming. Because you are aware that since whatever, aware that what we've been told since children, that what we do affects others, truly affects others. That we will never fully know that person's story or what they may or may not like. 